Yeah. I mean, I bought the Kenny version too, and I would encourage all of you to buy the Kenny version. <laughs> but I love. It. Um, it's a lot more fun when you're singing with me. I, I, I just, I honestly love that. That's more. That's more kind of how we wrote it. It was more piano based when we wrote it. And then we tried to rock the demo up, and then that's a sign of a great artist is they can then take that and sort of make it their own. And he, you know, really, really rocked it out. But, but that's, I, I just. Well, this song, yeah, please applaud her. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Um, sometimes in our business, so many times we write a song and we like run right out the door with it and we can't play, wait to play it for people. And this next song, um, it's funny, I'm glad you played that one right before it because that song was cut kind of like the last song he cut for that record. It was all pretty girls. And, um, and, and we all had kind of heard he was finished with that album. and um, So uh, this next song, uh, me and uh, Shane McAnally, Ross Copperman wrote this song. and We felt like it was perfect for Kenny, but um, he had just finished that record. And we thought, well, I mean, if we play it for him now, he's going to literally hear a thousand, some of 500 Rodney Clawson songs between now and when he's just cutting the record. <laughs> so we got to kind of, you know, wait our time, you know, on this. So we kind of wrote this song and then, um, and just sat on it and waited because we thought he was the right artist for it. And um, those things very rarely work out. Like usually you should just put it out in the market and see if somebody wants it. But we just had s such an instinct that he would be the right person for it when he was looking for songs again. So we kind of heard that he was looking for songs. We pitched this song to him and luckily he, uh, he did, he did uh, gravitate toward it and thought, you know, this is something I would like to say. And, and it works because he was doing a record after all the hurricanes that devastated the islands. And, he wanted to do an album about that and, and people sort of pulling together and so this song was just was perfect timing for us but this is a song i'm really proud of i've, I've always loved this one. it's one of my favorite ones i've been a writer on it's spoken along yeah. Yeah. Man, man, wearing t-shirts if jenny is for lovers at a bible is there he said, are you ready? 